Good morning, my friends, my followers, my YouTubers, my subscribers and Trevorites, but mainly good morning to you, the subscribers, because without you, the channel wouldn't grow. Or without YouTube restrictions, it would grow. Anyway, yes, it's Saturday morning. I'm in the beautiful seaside resort of Phoenix, though, right now. Yes, we'll be going to do something. The grass needs cut. The grass needs cut. Yes, it does. We'll get that sorted. Anyway, thank you very much for all the support. Yes, I did post something in my community page, and I will cover that now. Right, people. Uh, I've been on this platform for quite a few years. We noticed over the last couple of months that my channel started growing and growing exponentially. Growing, growing. 5,000, 10,000, 20, 50. Yes, we got the 157,000, and then we had a pause. And it went from 155,000 down to 150, well, you know what I mean, it's, it's going down. My views are getting lowered, which I don't, it doesn't, doesn't feel even possible that you can grow so big and then be suppressed to such a degree that not many people are seeing. When you have 150,000 subscribers and your videos are getting less than 10,000 views, you know there's something going wrong at YouTube. So I have uh, already, uh, I've spoke to Sue Smith, I've spoke to Avid Gardner and a few others, and I am currently, uh, I've currently set up alternative platforms and I'm waiting to be verified on them. When I'm verified on them, I will be moving my videos across to those platforms where I will not be suppressed and I won't upset people that work for YouTube that are clearly, clearly um, fans of not free speech. I'll just say that. So. Uh, just wait out, I will be using this. In fact, I'm going to use this platform to promote the other platforms because that's how good I am. Right, what else is happening? Well, the news is a bit mental today, as always. Yep, it's now been proven that Hamas have got their headquarters or at least one of their bases below a hospital in Gaza. Beautiful people. Imagine being of a terrorist. Well, that's what terrorists do. Terrorists hide in plain sight behind and they use humans as shields. So that's quite sad. Now, even if they were not a terrorist, say they were a legitimate army, no one under any Geneva Convention or under any rules of war is allowed to have a base below a hospital. It is wrong, it is morally wrong and disgusting. And anyone chanting about that needs to be deported from the United Kingdom, in my opinion, clearly. Clearly, yes. I've been doing uh, quite a few talks recently, uh, private talks, clearly, on my the way I'm talking now, I chat to different people and I'm organising things for the future leading up to Christmas. So, um, yes, it's looking good. It's looking good in the cold camp, all I can say that. Yes, all very, very positive. People saying, and I've heard all this rumour, Trevor's leaving YouTube because of, um, I don't know, investigations. He's not. He's not. YouTube human reviewer, you will know that. That's a false, false narrative. Yes, I'm just sick of the suppression. Uh, I've spoke to many YouTubers, spoke to one this morning, actually, who has had their, I'll call it, won't say he or she, they've had their YouTube earnings slashed by over 50% this month, which is quite strange, considering what they were earning every single month, then all of a sudden YouTube have taken most of their earnings of them, which is quite sad. This person, I'm going to say this, this person should be on $8,000 this month, and all of a sudden they're on $8,000 every single month, and then all of a sudden, YouTube have dropped them to below four thousand dollars this month. So they've they're taking quite a big cut, aren't they? So yeah, that's not morally correct at YouTube, clearly. But is there morals at YouTube? We don't know anymore. Yeah, but wait out. Right, what else is happening? The SNP leader, the guy in charge of Scotland, is panicking because he can't get through to his family that live in Gaza. Such a shame. Lots of people are panicking. They can't get through to their families. And when you see these demonstrations all over the world in our cities, it just shows you how much we have conformed, how much we have conformed to, let's just say, um, diversity, isn't it? Diversity. In the name of diversity, we can now see that we're not a racist country. The United Kingdom's not racist. When you see the amount of cities and the amount of people attending those demonstrations, it just goes to prove that we're not racist, doesn't it? Yeah, we've let them all in. Yeah, good people and bad people, it seems. Right. Archaeologists. We know what they do. We know they dig up soil and look at shit and they go, well, this shit is from a Roman Empire, a Roman, a Roman, a Roman general. They look at all that stuff, don't they? Well, check this out, and I want your opinion in the comments below. Yep. 
Archaeologists have dug up and are looking at a mound, the shape of a boat. A shape of a boat. They're saying it's in Turkey. They're saying it's Noah's Ark. They have found Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark was made with wood, by the way. We all know that. But they're saying they found something which looks, could be Noah's Ark. The wooden boat that was built 5,000 years ago. Now, I'm going to go out on the limb here. And I'm going to say that if I leave a garden set up in all weathers and it's there for 10 years, 10 years, just look at 10 years, a bit of it's going to be mouldy. Now, if I leave the shed up for 20 years in all weathers, and bear in mind, it hasn't got Ron seal, you know what I mean? It's got no Ron seal. It's got no no um, wood protection covering. It's not varnished because there was none in those days. Let's look back at those days. There was none of this wood protection stuff. So let's see what for 20 years and all the way, all the, the rain. Okay. Wood's not gonna gonna start to fall apart, isn't it? Let's say I leave the shed up for 50 years in all weathers with no wood, no sealer. You're gonna be able to push it. Now let's look at this ark that they found, 5,000 years old. Yep, I'm calling bullshit on this, if I'm honest. I have, to, I have to call it, I think we can all call it. I'll leave a description, I'll link a description below and, and you'll see that there's no wood left. It's just an indent of what, what the ark would have looked like. I mean, it, it's just like, it's like a guessing game. It reminds me of Sutton Hoo, I'm going to Sutton Hoo and there's a big mound with grass on it and they're going well below there used to be um where they buried the kings uh, the kings used to be, and you're going well has anyone actually dug in there no oh so this is another guess basically what it is is places need tourism so they make a shit story up and then they sell it to each other around the village oh they found this and it just starts off as a rumor and then the rumor grows further and further. it spreads legs and people are interested then they produce little flowers going i heard that rumor that flowers oh right that rumor must be true then it's all nonsense. It's how we sell things. It's, how, it's what the public do. They manipulate each other. Yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm sure you'll have a different opinion based on that. Well, you'll be glad to know that uh, 2,000 Afghan interpreters have now arrived in the UK. After months and months of delays, they've now arrived in the UK. There are people that helped out the British forces. It's great that they're going to be housed before Christmas. Oh, hold on a minute here. Where? So we... Oh, that's great news. So we we found 2,000 houses for Afghan interpreters. That, that That's great news. Um, Johnny Mercer pledged to vow. He pledged, he says, I will solve veterans' homelessness before Christmas. And you can hold me to that. I uploaded the video yesterday, him saying, you can hold me to that. Yet he hasn't been able to do it. Wow. So it just goes to show you that uh, the UK government's priorities are not the UK citizens. There we go. You can comment below. Let me know what you think. But uh, that's not even an opinion. That's fact. That, that's a fact. We are not priority. Not priority. Veterans aren't good business, apparently. Yes. Mm. But there we go. And what else is happening? NatWest Bank has lost billions of its shares. You'll be pleased to know. Well, not if you're in NatWest Bank, obviously. But NatWest Bank has lost billions of their shares down to two things. One is their interest rates, so a lot of customers are moving to other banks with higher interest rates. And the other one is the Nigel Farage fiasco, where they tried to debank, they tried to deplatform and get rid of people because they don't speak with the same interest as those at the top of NatWest. So there we go. If you're in if you're in NatWest Bank, I would suggest you move your money to a new bank account. Yes. Makes sense. And what else is happening? Now, I heard rumour about this, and then I looked, at, I looked into it. There has been somebody putting up posters about Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, and her family all over the village where they live, trying to sort of embarrass and humiliate the family. Well, it turns out it's a 23-year-old woman called Molly, who's an OnlyFans bimbo. Sorry, did I say bimbo? Yeah, she's an OnlyFans bimbo with dyed red hair who's doing it. 23. She's doing it for clickbait. She's got 23,000 followers on Twitter, which, to be fair, is... Uh, it's not a big number if you are getting into the media and you've only fans. Um, but then again, being on Twitter, I think being on Twitter and having a thousand people that follow you is, is probably you're getting a good platform. You're starting to raise your profile. A couple of thousand, you're starting to become well known. But if you're an OnlyFans model and you rely on 
men paying you money to see your breasts and vagina but then it's a it's a sad life and you've reached the gutter already so um i would totally ignore her and uh, and move on yes yes it is what it is anyway i'm going to be working uh i'm trying to work out a deal with another platform uh to move all my content across there as I said, I am going to give YouTube one last try on the 27th of December when I when they're letting me reapply. But uh, apart from that, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to walk. I'm ready to walk from this platform. I'm ready to walk away from it because it's... Uh, I don't think YouTube's any good anymore, if I'm honest. I think it's, uh, a, it, it's like, in my opinion, in my opinion, I'm without prejudice, it's like a Gestapo um, type um, platform where you must conform or be shunned uh, not good, is it? Anyway, listen, have a wonderful day, everyone. Thanks for your support. Uh, well done to the Royal Grift for reaching 100,000 subscribers yesterday. That is an amazing, uh, it absolutely is amazing. Uh, I'm sure she'll get a plaque. Uh, and she can, and if you are the Royal Grift, uh, take a photograph of it and show me what a plaque looks like. I'm not allowed one. Anyway, listen, take care, everyone, and uh, stay safe.